This is Pasangpe STEM School, located in the northern region of Ghana. Looking at the school, I see the massive projects that the government are putting in place in this school. Let's go on a journey to take a good look at the school, then we'll come back and read. Welcome back again to my channel, Mr. Your Girl, UJ, aka Mami. So, today's video, we're taking a look at this STEM SHS school located in the northeastern part of Ghana. A lot of people have been watching this video talking about the secondary schools in Ghana. So I'm showcasing here the STEM secondary schools in Ghana. And when I tell people that Ghana as a country is seeing the need that these STEM schools should be put in place in all schools in Ghana, and they are seeing the need of how important technology has come to stay, that is the reason why we are making sure that these STEM schools have all the necessary equipment that they need to function. I was talking with a friend of mine from my home country, she was, she was watching my videos, so we had this discussion about the STEM schools in Ghana and she said since she has been in her home country, she has never seen any STEM schools or heard about people talking about the STEM schools that is not as rampant like the way it is in Ghana. And I said to her that this is what a functioning government is doing. If a government is functional, if a government has the interest of people at heart, they want to do something like this, they want to invest their monies on education. Because right now the world is evolving, technology is becoming something like, it's becoming a thing in the world. Every country in the world has this technology, and every country in the world has implemented the STEM system of school. So I think Africans, uh, Africa as a country should look into this and make sure that their schools also have this technology in every school that they have. I see a lot of people saying, oh, I think you came from a very timid village. You don't know what the schools in my home country looks like. But have I been to this school? Have I been to this school? And I make a research about those schools and I didn't see anything that is compared to the kind of schools and the system and the equipment that the schools have. I want us to take a look at the school, then we'll come back and react on it. The structures, the environment of learning is meant to be conducive for students to learn. And this is what the government of Ghana has put in place in the school located in the northern region of Ghana. Technology has come to stay and I applaud the government of Ghana for making this work out in Ghana. Let's look at how intentional and how uh, serious the government is when it comes to education in Ghana. When it comes to education in Ghana, the, the, the government of Ghana is doing so well. The last video I did, a lot of people were coming there, you know, fighting for political parties. I am not doing this video for people to come and talk about any political parties in the video. All I saw in those schools were the governments that are functioning. And sometimes, if you see a government doing so well in any particular thing, in any particular project, you talk good about this project. At least they have done something good in that country. They did this, they made sure that the Minister of Education in, in Ghana knows the importance of STEM schools, knows that, oh, schools in Ghana really need the STEM schools. They need something like this in this country. So he came down to this country and he decided, like, let me just make this thing work out. And to him, I think what he wanted the country to be functional, what he wanted for the, for the educational sector in Ghana is to be more productive. That is what I see in what he is doing. There are some ministers in some other African countries that they have this resource, they have this money to do this project, but their greed would not allow them to do something like this. They wouldn't want to invest a lot of money because their children are not in the country. Their children do not stay in their own school. But this government has seen that, oh, I'm, from, I'm, I'm coming from US, let me just make something better. Let me make a change in my society. Let me make a change in my ministry. Being a minister of education, he has seen the future of tomorrow. He knows that if I should implement this thing, if I should spend such money to make this thing work out, it's going to be the favor, it's going to be in favor of the students, not me. That is to show you a government that so much loves the people, that has the interest of people at heart. Let's take a look at the laboratory of the school, then we'll come back and react on the video. Laboratory. It can take a maximum of 36 students for practicals. 
Wow. It's not bad. This is amazing. It's all in 12 of the all the 12. Wow. Biology are also free. Wow. And then physics. So you can even just use your fingers. And to, this is the this is the doctor region of Ghana of offers programs as engineering, biomedical, robotics aerospace and aviation so if you're thinking of a school to put your children and you want them to be well grounded in engineering aviation biomedicals um aerospace like you want your child to grow up and become a pilot an engineer i think this school should be an option for you to put your kids and the most interesting part of this school is that this school has hostel facilities they have well equipped hostels whereby your kids can stay and if you don't want your children or your kids to stay in the boarding school they have they have the boarding and the normal daily activity a lot of people have been asking me make videos about this this school and i said oh i need to make videos about it because let, i want to let people know that the schools is in every region anywhere you're located whether in accra whether in the northern region ashanti region eastern region they have the schools here and I said earlier on in the previous video that I'll be making videos about arts STEM schools. They also have arts STEM schools for people that are into arts, painting and other things. I'll be making the videos here on this channel. If you've not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. Like this video, the post notifications to notify whenever I post amazing content. Let's take a good look at this video, then we'll come back and react on it. Look at how beautiful the school environment is. Look at the classrooms. The students are sitting comfortably without nothing interrupting them. This school, this is a laboratory. The down floor, the two down floor here are the laboratories. Wow, this is beautiful. They have a water plant here. This is the classrooms. This is another classroom here. This is the structure of a building. This is a fire extinguisher in the school. To me, as a foreigner in Ghana, I'm seeing this kind of thing. It is like an improvement. It's a good thing that the government has the people's interest at heart. If the government does not have your interest at heart, there's no way he can be able to spend millions and billions of naira in this project, this STEM project in Ghana. So to me, this STEM project have come to stay, and I've been seeing it very soon ghana as a country would be one of the best would have one or numerous would have a lot of best stem schools in africa that people from outside africa would want to come and enroll their kids in the schools in ghana because the rate at which the government are pumping money into the stem schools the rate at which the government are so intentional about building the stem schools creating as in making these innovations making the students sound making the students know more about technology is something that is worthy of emulation and i think in the nearest future the people of ghana will see that what the government are doing is absolutely right and nice i don't know what you think about this video please drop a comment in the comment section like this video share this video i've come to the end of this video hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye